Hello and welcome to episode two of Things I Code. And today I wanted to talk about my really weird desktop wallpaper. Uh, so let's see. So it's on all monitors. It has the RGB taskbar. Uh, it has this little circle thing that follows my mouse on the desktop. You can also like control it with like these buttons here. Yeah. You can also make the taskbar go faster and stuff, it, it, whatever. Uh, but the main cool thing I want to show about this is if I go up here, excuse my room as it is a complete mess, but if I click this, it controls my room basically. So there's a few different modes. Uh, if I go up here, I can also control the the light there. I have a little bit of a, yeah, the screen thing, it's like a little, like, date and time thing. It's not really working right now. I got to fix that. I couldn't be bothered to before the, I started the video for some reason, but that is, so that's my wallpaper, but so I'm going to get a little bit into how it works and how you can get something similar. Uh, well, in terms of, like, the buttons... Like, I'll leave, I'll leave the source code and stuff, but, like, you're gonna have to basically create your own, like, th like, depending on what you want them to do, I'll, it'll just link it to a Python program, that's what it'll do. So, the first thing, uh, in this is going to be the, uh, the Viz.js. The rest of the stuff, like, all this, this is just some, like, I think this is like a little bit of CSS stuff. Not C. What am I talking about? This is like project metadata, right? There's a. Oh, here's the CSS, uh, which is in its own folder for some reason. And then here's like P5, which is processing, but JavaScript. Anyway, anyway here's the thing I made. So here's all the uh, the stuff here. Uh, it's not too complicated. Like if you understand. If you understand processing and processing JavaScript, like it shouldn't be too difficult to look through. Uh, the thing that makes this special, though, is that scroll up here, you will notice I don't, <clears throat> I don't know where things. Okay, here it is. Here, so I have a, I have a local server running in the background. So if I go to, uh, if I go to my C drive here, then head over to. Uh, my wallpaper engine folder. I have a few things here. <laughs> so launch just kind of launches everything. That's not really special. It's script. The script here, it basically creates uh, a little local server here where uh, this can connect and it can make it so when you hit these buttons, it can run commands and stuff. So this is nice because, so what I did is Oh, oh, for the mouse information, the mouse information. Because Wallpaper Engine is kind of kind of dumb, if you use clone mode, it won't, like, track your mouse position outside the window. I mean, it makes sense, so I'm just feeding it in through this uh, command that's being spammed every, like, 60 times a second. And then I had some linear interpolation so it looks smooth, and it's a little bit behind, but I kind of like that. Kind of like an after thing of your mouse. Uh, so that's that, and I use threads to have multiple things going on instead of just launching multiple programs because I'm gaming. <clears throat> but this socket, basically, whatever gets a command, uh, socket IO command, so, uh, so like here, and this, this is just a system command. It'll just run on your system. Don't ask me about security, because I'm going to be honest. I don't know if this is terrible. I just make sure nobody knows, like, the thing. Just... I do have another thing in here. Uh, not here. Where is it? It's here. It's this interface thing. This basically just communicates with my Raspberry Pi over there and basically controls all of the different lights and stuff. Uh, 
I mean, I'll... Hmm. If you're going to do something like that, like, that's going to be on you. Like, you can run commands on your own system, but that's, like, the rest is hyper-specific enough to the point where it's not going to be useful me giving you the source code. Uh, if you do have any questions about it, uh, I can help. Like, say you have an LED thing and you want to know how to kind of set it up, I can help you out with that. But uh, let me make this larger. There we go. The big, the big circle. Oh, oh, one last thing. One last thing. I almost forgot. Look at this. It's like this cool little menu thing I made. So all of these do like various actions. They'll like, uh, they'll pull up like different things. Like I can just click on, uh, what do I need? Sublime. It'll open Sublime. If I need my camera, I'll just open the camera. Uh, yeah, terminal. It's the fancy one because well, fancy stuff and it's not really that useful because you can't actually like run servers and stuff in it through like an automatic command line interface so you can't have the whole tab it's it, it they need to work on it is my point but that i'll also provide the source there will probably be a different github i don't oh yeah it'll definitely be because i already uploaded the github for that uh if i go to documents uh, it's I think it's like GUI. Here we go. So yeah, it's like it's not. Uh, again, it's not that complicated. It's just a T a to kink. This this word. Don't ask me how I pronounce that. Uh, T kinter. I I don't care. Uh, yeah, it's just a pretty simple thing with a transparent background. Uh. Which could probably be done better because, like, I'm this is my first T Kinkter thing, and it also has some hotkeys. So, like, so say if I you can copy something, right? If you do Alt and D, it'll invert the case, right? And then if I go and find the keys, because I don't remember any of these. Uh, and Alt and S evaluate something. So if you have like 2 plus 2 times 7 uh, plus uh, uh, just a string, we, we turn everything to a string because we can, and then we multiply this by 5, we'll have like uh, 16 followed by 5 fives. So if I do Alt and... I forgot the key. Uh, if I do Alt and S... It pulls that up I because I press Windows key and S, but now I do that. Look at that. Look at that. It's it, it did it. It evaluated it. So this is basically useful if you're like kind of in the middle of a program and you're like 56 plus uh, plus something over to and then you just don't want to bother. Just like control A, control C, Alt S, control V. There. There's your answer. Uh, I should probably not be doing this in like the stupid find in the replace menu on this because it just moves everything everywhere. But yeah, that's that's the moral of the story. Uh, so if I sound kind of like a mess, I don't have I don't do scripts at least not yet. Uh, it depends. I I don't know how much effort I want to put in these because like I want these to be like quick and like enjoyable for me to make. So. Yeah, if you find this interesting, uh, comment any suggestions or feedback, and I'll leave some GitHub's below for the uh, the sauce, the sauce of the matter. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.